Time to crack open the sports page with the Orlando Sentinel and FM 96.9 The Games, Mike the Bulldog Bianchi. On JRR. Bulldogs sports page brought to you by JRR's Thursday night football pregame action. Tomorrow evening, St. Cloud, we're coming to see you ahead of the uh, Seahawks-Cowboys game. Love going out to Canoe Creek Sports Tavern in St. Cloud. Going to be there 6 o'clock. And we have five pair, that's right, five pair of Earth Day birthday tickets as well as a bucket special to come out starting at 6, Canoe Creek, tomorrow night. St. Cloud, bring it! Hey, dog, what's going on, buddy? I'm hearing Thin Lizzy may be at Earth Day birthday this year. Can't wait. The boys are back in town. God. Yeah. Tonight there's going to be a jailbreak. All right. Uh, the Orlando Magic didn't even play last night, and they were eliminated from the NBA in-season tournament. They got no favors from the rest of the Eastern Conference. They were eliminated despite being one of the hottest teams in the league. Yeah, I know you guys haven't been following this, but here, here, here's... Here's what happened last night. To win their group, Orlando needed the Nets to lose to the Raptors, all right? But Brooklyn won, all right? They won the game. The Magic could have still won the group and advanced with a tiebreaker over both Brooklyn and the Celtics if two things happened. Neither one of them happened. Orlando needed the Nets to beat the Raptors by more than 14 points, but the Nets won by only 12. Okay, fine. They could still have gotten in if the Celtics beat the Bulls by fewer than 22 points. Boston won by 27 points last night oh. over the Bulls. And that's so that's things. right. Billy Donovan has screwed the magic over again. He's the coach of the Bulls. <laughs> it's his just fault. Like he did, just like he did when he backed out on taking the magic. Had Damn you, you Donovan! It stinks for the guys because that's... That was bonus money for him, right? I mean, from what uh, Bo Outlaw yeah, was telling us. Yeah, they could have won 500 grand each if they'd have gotten to the finals and won. I will say this, though. The in-season tournament at least has these teams playing hard. The Celtics knew they needed to win big, so they had all their starters in the game until the very end. They had Jason Tatum and all the boys in there at the end of the game. At one point in the fourth quarter, Boston's coach Joe Mazzula had to explain to Billy Donovan why his team was intentionally fouling uh, Andre Drummond, Chicago's center, who cannot shoot free throws. So they were up by twenty. They were up by twenty nine and fouling Andre Drummond because they knew they needed to win big. Unbelievable. Oh. Well, the bottom line is the Magic go for their eighth consecutive victory tonight at home against the Wizards. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, yeah, in-season tournament is a, a good little diversion, but the, the key is making the playoffs, and the Magic are well on their way to doing that. Hopefully they can stay hot tonight. Hey, speaking uh, how- of playoffs, it looks like Florida State has slid back into the number four slot, doggy. That's right. They are back in the top four. The four-team college football playoff is going <laughs> Is, is coming down to the wire here. I mean, it's going to be unbelievable what happens this weekend. You, as you, as you mentioned, Florida State back in the top four, Michigan number one, uh, Washington, uh, among the top, Georgia number two, then Washington, then Florida State. So you have Michigan, uh, Wash, I'm sorry, Michigan, Georgia, Washington, Florida State, Oregon's fifth. They only have one loss. Ohio State, of course, the one loss to Michigan. Texas, one loss. Uh, Alabama, one loss. It's going to be fascinating to see what happens this weekend. Hey, I'm George, at, at, George is still number one, right? Uh, Georgia is still number one. Yes. Okay, just wanted. To, let me yeah. ask you this: you you were alluding to this weekend. Let, let me throw a scenario at you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oregon clobbers Washington. Okay. Florida State struggles to beat Louisville. Okay. What happens? Well, Oregon would be in and Florida State would be in. Well, Washington's out if they lose. Oh, no, I know Washington would be out. All that I know is it stinks for FSU that they lost their good starter, you know? Yeah, but but, but what you're saying is Oregon beats Washington, so that eliminates uh, Washington. Okay. There would have to be another yeah. element. There. Let's say Alabama beats Georgia. Mm. Alabama's number eight. I I have a heart. You know, we've been talking about maybe two SEC teams getting in, Alabama and Georgia. Hell, if Alabama beats Georgia, no SEC teams might get in. Alabama's number eight right now. Are you telling me if they beat Georgia, they're going to jump all the way from number eight? I'm not telling you that. Into the top four? I'm asking. I'm asking. 
I don't think they should. Okay. I mean, Alabama's resume, yeah, they would have beaten Georgia, but still, they barely beat Auburn, took a miracle. They barely beat Texas A&M. They barely beat Arkansas. It's not like Alabama's been crushing all the teams on their schedule. I think if Florida State gets in, even if they sort of muddle their way in, if Florida State stays unbeaten against Louisville, I think they're in. Okay, all right. He's just yeah. throwing scenarios out there, dogs. I mean, hey, some what yeah, ifs. That's what. But, but I, I wouldn't bet my life on it if they if they just muddle through and beat you know, barely beat Louisville. Yeah. I mean, even the the commissioner last night of the playoff, Boo Corrigan, said Florida State's not the same team without Jordan Travis, yeah. as Bob just alluded to. Yeah. yeah, yeah it yeah. sucks that they lost Jordan Travis. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll see what happens. But it's going to be, I mean, this, we've never had a conference championship weekend that had this many playoff ramifications. This is going to be amazing. Did you see who's back at Arkansas? Bobby Petrino. (laughs) (laughs) He comes full circle, dog. The motorcycle man is back. The motorcycle man who lost his head coaching job at Arkansas. They probably never should have fired him. He, he was he had it rolling at Arkansas. Then he had his mistress on the back of his motorcycle, of course. And they get into a wreck, and he ends up getting fired because he lied to the school about it. And, yeah, now he's back as the offensive coordinator. They are desperate in Arkansas. <laughs> Sam Pittman, uh, the head coach, I'm sure he I'm sure he didn't want to bring in Bobby Petrino, right. but uh, the, the AD probably said, you're going to hire Bobby Petrino and if you fail guess what we're gonna make him the head coach again oh boy we'll see what happens there uh the other story I wanted to get to with you guys did you see that did you see that Sports Illustrated yeah Sports Illustrated which was one once one of the great you know writing magazines for you know sports writing they got busted for using computer-generated AI writers to write their stories. Taco, not only oh. that, then they they got stock photographs they bought off the internet of headshots of the supposed writers. Are you and kidding trying me? Trying to pass it off as humans. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not a good look. Hey, hey, we're all going to be replaced by AI. We're all going to be replaced by AI soon enough. All right, don't start nagging out. Uh, what what are they going to do <laughs> next? Lynch and Taco with the bulldog. <laughs> they're going to they're going to put a. Uh, right. The, the bikini edition is going to be like all in regular clothing now. I hear Wet Willie will be at Earth Day birthday. Okay. Okay. This, this is year. where we shut her down. It's going to be a robotic bark. I can right. see it. Bulldog, yeah, just give us your robotic grown man barking this morning. Arf, arf. JRR On Demand. Download the iHeartRadio app.